Ever wonder why it's harder for some Asian men to date outside of a race versus Asian women who might want to date white men? Let's dive into why AMWF relationships are different from WMAF and how Asian men can break free from old dating stereotypes. I'm JT Tran and I've spoken at Harvard and Yale and been featured on Fox and ABC and I coach single Asian men on how to meet, attract, and date the women of their dreams through a holistic approach. Today, we're talking about a real and tough topic, the difference between AMWF or AMF and white male, Asian female, WAMF relationships, especially when you look at it through the lens of hypergamy and societal and racial privilege. Let's be real, when an Asian woman marries a white man, it's often seen as a step up socially. Whether it's white adjacency, job opportunities, or being more accepted in mainstream American spaces, an Asian woman with a white husband gains access to white privilege in ways that an Asian man simply doesn't. Just think about it. An Asian woman can take her white husband's last name and suddenly she's more likely to get job interviews, make higher salaries, and feel safer in white dominated spaces. But for us Asian men, it's a whole different story. When a white woman dates or marries an Asian man, society often doesn't reward her with any kind of social boost. She's not gaining status. In fact, she might even be judged for her choice. It's like she's marrying down according to societal norms, even though we know that's far from the truth. In fact, historically, American women could, and in fact, did lose their citizenship if they married an Asian man. Imagine that. Our value was so diminished in society that it could literally cost a woman her rights. This is why AMF relationships are often seen as more challenging. It takes more in-person skills, emotional resilience, and a deep understanding of the social dynamics that work against us Asian men. We can't just rely on status or societal privilege to win, but that's not a bad thing. It makes us stronger. It forces us to become the best version of ourselves. And then when we win, it's a real victory. Now, I want to bring up a recent example that hit home for a lot of us. In the 2024 season of The Bachelorette, we had Jen Tran, the first Asian American contestant. Everyone was excited, right? This was finally our moment. But what happened? The show literally only had like one Asian guy on and the producers were obviously pushing her to choose a white man for higher ratings. And Jin did end up ditching the Asian man to go with the typical white guy. And what did he do? He dumped her. Now, this isn't to shame anyone's choices, but it's a reflection of a larger issue. Many Asian women feel the pressure to date or marry white men because society tells them that it's the better choice. But as Asian men, we can't let that discourage us. In fact, we need to break out of this narrative that our value is less. I'm not here to promote only AMF relationships at the ABC's attraction. We encourage Asian men to be open to dating women of all races. Our philosophy is about expanding our horizons and finding the woman who's right for you, whether she's white, black, Latina, Asian, or from any other background. We have to break free from the idea that our success is only validated by dating white women. It's about building real, meaningful connections with women who appreciate and respect us for who we are, regardless of their race. Take one of my clients, Chez. He was a student from China who struggled with romance. He attended our ABCs of Attraction bootcamp with two of his friends when he was 25. Initially, he was intrigued by One Night Stand, but through our training, he realized he wanted a deeper connection, something spiritual, emotional, and physical. Chez didn't just want to play the field, he wanted a meaningful relationship. And guess what? After learning the right skills and mindset, Chez ended up marrying a beautiful Eastern European woman whom he cold approached at a club using a direct opener that we teach. Through a program, Chez didn't just learn how to approach women, he learned how to value himself and build genuine connections. His story proves that success isn't about fitting into society's mode, it's about breaking free from it. And that's exactly what we teach in the academy. Our online training program includes over 50 hours of advanced lecture videos and in-field demonstrations with women. We show you, real Asian men, you look just like you, approaching women of all races, going on dates, and even pulling women home. You'll see firsthand how Asian men can dominate the dating world, no matter what society tries to tell you. The best part? You can try it all risk-free for 30 days, no strings attached, and it won't even cost you a single penny. Just like we helped Chaz, we'll help you overcome your struggles and guide you towards success. So if you're ready to take the next step and transform your dating life, join the Academy today. The link is in the bio. Don't wait. And if you want more insights on self-improvement, confidence, and dating, make sure to like the video and follow me for more content. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos.
Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.